All right, this week I thought I'd talk about isometrics and how to do them properly and what they're for because I'm doing isometrics at the moment and that's because I've had shoulder surgery. Now, with isometrics, you know, these are very, very easy and basic physio exercise that us physios give out a lot, especially for people who are just injured or have had surgery. And they're, you know, as boring as they are, they're not much strengthening. They're really, really good for pain relief and trying to get tendons active and working in preparation for when they're healed enough or settled down enough to actually strengthen properly. So until you can get to use these things or using weights, you've got to do isometric work. Now isometric, what does that mean? It means muscle work without moving. So if you notice here, I'm pushing against the pole, right? So I'm using my deltoid, but I'm also using my supraspinatus and my rotator cuff to actively engage. Now for this sort of movement, I'm pushing my wrist against the pole, so that means I'm doing external rotation for the joint. So I'm targeting my supraspinatus and my infraspinatus and teres minor to externally rotate, but I'm not moving, hence isometric. Now this is safe for the tendon because there's no sort of movement load through the joint. Now, I can only push up to about 50% at the moment because I've just started. So when you're initially working on this, you don't want to be pushing 100% and you definitely only want to be going to about 30 seconds. Some people can only last about 10 seconds. So maybe build it up from 10, 20 to 30. So that's external rotation. Now there's sort of, for the shoulder in this example, there's six movements you can do. So that was external rotation, which you'll probably find the hardest if you've had shoulder problems. Then there's abduction. Now that's the same position, okay, but I'm pushing against my elbow now. So now I'm pushing that way against resistance. Therefore, I'm using the same sort of muscles, but it's sort of more deltoid and more supra, not so much infra. So abduction work, I'm finding a little bit easier because I've got a lot more weakness going external rotation. So that position there, there's my abduction. Again, 30 seconds at a time up to that, maybe three sets, building to maybe four, and you could do that once or twice a day if you're doing okay with the conditioning. Remember, isometrics is only maybe two to four weeks worth, so it's not forever, it's boring, but it's really, really important for pain relief and really, really important, like I said, to try and get that person stronger so they can do eccentric work, say, starting in a week or two. So there's your abduction. Now, flexion's also an important one, so I'll show you this way. I'm gonna push against the pole that way. Now it can be a pole, it can be a door, it can be a wall, it doesn't matter. But when I'm pushing here, I'm gonna load up my bicep tendon in the front a little bit more. So I'm doing anterior deltoid. I'm also doing a little bit of work at the back of my tricep, which is nice. But that load through the tendon, because I can't actively do strengthening work with a weight for my bicep tendon, I can't do that yet. What I can do is start switching all that tendon on, using all the muscles through the front to try and tone that up in preparation. So there's your flexion. Extension is really easy. I like doing it this way. Long lever you can do it that way. I like doing this way, which again gets your tricep involved, gets your rear delt involved. Because those muscles, if you're not using your shoulder, those muscles will be atrophied and weak as well. So you're just toning all that up as well. Plus you're working all your rotator cuff underneath all that as an active stabilizer. So working on extension is really good. Again, build that up to what you imagine is 50% of your maximum. Start with that as long as that's pain free. If it's not, you've got to back it off or dial off a little bit. Remember these exercises, twice a day, you know, three sets of each one, there's six of them, it's quite time consuming. So you might want to do it as a bit of a circuit or you can do it sort of in between each exercise. And then you've got adduction and turn rotation. Turn rotation is easy. If you've got a pole, it's easy. If you've got a door, just go on the other side of the door. But a pole like this, again, I'm going to push that way so I'm pulling in. You'll notice you're kicking a bit of pec because you're going to use pec to internally rotate, but you're also after that subscapularis. So be careful if people have had subscapularis tears or surgery. Got to be really careful with this one, making sure you're not too far out. I would say just a little bit away from the body, out in a little bit of abduction, and pulling inwards directly with the hand. Okay, so this is not adduction, it's internal rotation. There's a bit of adduction going on, but the bias is internal rotation. Now for adduction, that's pretty hard. You know, to try and get abduction this way, you have to sort of push on something there. So unless you've got a pole sort of lying this way, you really got to come close to the pole here, maybe go to a long lever and pull in, and try and think pulling back behind you a little bit to try and access your adductors in the shoulder. And that. So like I said, this is a shoulder example. You can use isometrics for all parts of the body, and physios use these for injury and pain and post surgical for different parts of the joints. I'm just showing you on my shoulder. So remember, they need to be in that phase where you're before strengthening weight, 
around the active movement part is when you can start the isometrics and they need to be about 30 seconds long you need to do about three sets on each direction and try to do that twice a day for a good two to four weeks.